today you see Sanya Newal when she wins, you know, the government is paying, Haryana government is paying some one crore or something. So crore may either bada Bollywood box office hoga, uskilio tin sorupe dega, or yes, a crore ki film ka sabi ho, kyun tin sorupe dega. Ubolega bar me jai. Today, yes, it's not difficult for me to get a film done or distribute, you know, take the film to a distributor. I would never cheat to my audience. This is a very funny thing about India that it, it's a simple thing which everyone knows. I mean, we pray women gods like Lakshmi, you know, Kali and all that. At the same time, we torture women. You know, the society doesn't allow that kind of space to women compared to men. And largely, if you see, in, there are many stresses as an impact of that. There has been a lot of sex selective aversion, which is why there is a massive imbalance between men and women. But the interesting part is why it happens. It's not about a disease, it's not polio or medicine diya or bimari chala jayega. We realize this is a pattern which has been there from since Mahabharata and Ramayana. Ages. Ages. Because the history also says that. Now, even though there are, you know, today you see Sanya Newal, when she wins, you know, the government is paying, Haryana government is paying some one crore or something. Whereas, there has been massive killing of female fetuses and you know they hardly any kind of real revolution against that that is happening it's changing but i'm saying it still needs a lot of work i'm not giving a solution here i'm not a social worker i simply done a film which is on the incidentally on the issue and it's going to do some bit of impact to the society to change that mindset the idea of jalpari is amazing because you don't know whether there is moment there are moments or not you know whether they exist or not. There are different myths of Jalpari. You go to Korea, you go to Japan, you go to India, you go to America. Every country, every region of the world has different theory and perception about Jalpari. So I am bringing Jalpari what real means to India. It's about something which reflects to the society, reflects to our own story, whether it exists or not. The moment I am using as a subtext, the way the main story lies into the, the real facts of life, you know. I'm using water as a subtext, I'm using Jalpari as a subtext, you know, what it means to the real life. And using both the side, there is adult, there is children. It's not just a children film, it's a family film with children main characters in it. Look at the scenario of children cinema in independent cinema, somebody who is making one crore film, which is a fantastic film people would love to watch, but audience will not go. They will say, Sao Karan mein idhar ek bada Bollywood box office hoga, uske liye wo 300 rupay dega, aur yeh se ek karod ki film ho kaisa bhi ho, kiyo 300 rupay dega? Wo bolega baad mein jai. So I think there should be some, something which the government, which the industry, which the associations has to figure out a balance between the two and give some space to that. PBR is doing a very interesting thing. You know, I really like that, that okay, they at least giving this director's card, you know. Which is fantastic. At least there is some initiative. Otherwise, हमारे जैसे लोगों के लिए क्या होता है? Independent cinema बनाए एक साल, उसके बाद दो साल तक marketing करते रहो. We become a salesman, you know, taking the film this studio to that studio, this distributor to that distributor. I am a person. Anything which I make, I tastefully make it for people. So it's like a cook. Cook is an also artist. The cook made nice food so that it tastes well to others. If it tastes well to you, then you finish. For me, is that. Anything which I make, people has to love it. For me, I am Kalam. You know, what was I am Kalam? And that's the same thing you will see in this film also. Why I was happy about I am Kalam? Had it been a film just got 20 awards, I didn't make the, made the film for 20 awards, you know. Or just for the international or the festival circuit. It did well internationally. It did well internationally commercial. You know, it went and released in many countries. It did well nationally, you know, domestically fantastic. The DVD sale was fantastic from children to women to old age. It's 5 to 500 all over the world. That is my way of cinema. This is an industry where uh, limelight works. You know, people start watching your face. People start talking about your film. And today, yes, it's not difficult for me to get a film done or distribute, you know, take the film to a distributor. Everyone has, he knows that identity. So it might not be messy, but I'll, you know, I'm not finding it difficult to find money or to do a film. Apart from the industry, there are a lot of private investors who wanted to put in money. There are loads of them, not only from India, from outside also. You know, it's a small company I have, but they're like uh, equity holders coming from uh, Gold Coast to put money in. You know. So that's the irony of one success. I'm an artist. I'm not stuck with, I don't want to be called anything like it's my kind of cinema, okay? I'm an artist. As I said from the beginning, it's an evolving person for someone like me, okay? 
and every time every cinema will come in a different way and even some day i like i said i love a lot of bollywood films also and you might see an out and out film soon also you know and i'm working on one you know and it doesn't matter as long as i'm happy to do that and i'm not cheating myself you know what i don't like as an artist is i don't want to be pretentious i don't want to follow anyone i want to be truly independent whether i do a bollywood box office even if i copy something even i'll be <laughs> independent to it you know but nevertheless i want to tell the story in a correct form and that will come that's a promise that i would i have done myself that i would never cheat to my audience